what in the window licking synthetic drug smoking Florida man kind of pursuit is this? I have seriously, in all my years of watching all this police footage, I've probably watched more police footage than anyone have never seen such a nutty pursuit. We have a crazy lady involved, we have dogs involved, we have half of the RV from Breaking Bad involved, crashes, high speeds, poor puppers. We looked at it a little bit on stream last night. A lot of us, it was the first time viewing it and we were all sitting here like, oh my God, because of all the crazy stuff that happens in this pursuit. The pursuit lasts a long time, but we're gonna look at some of the key points today and break this pursuit down. So what started this pursuit? Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies were in the area of the RV looking for a man who had exposed himself to a woman who was doing yoga. So yeah, that's how the RV chase started. A bolo went out for the RV saying it had been stolen from a nearby location. Officers spot the stolen RV, attempt a traffic stop. The woman inside the RV disregards and takes off. Skymap7, whoever they belong to, picks up the chase. They do an excellent job of recording it with HD footage streaming from a helicopter. It's, it's pretty good. But they pick it up and like five seconds into them recording the RV chase, it almost crashes. Thirty-four seconds into the pursuit and we almost have another wreck. You may be thinking to yourself, oh, this is just a normal RV chase. We see these all the time. I think not. You see a dog is driving the car. Bad boy. The pursuit is pretty uneventful up until about the two minute 40 mark when she almost takes out two or three more cars. That guy definitely pooped his pants. After blowing another red light and reaching speeds of up to 60 miles an hour, she figures the best way to get away from police is to pull into this parking lot. Front axle's gotta be a little screwed up. It's gotta be missing at least one tire. Chase is over, right? Nope, wrong. The whole time we're watching this on stream, we're all going, not the dog, please God, not the dog. She's losing stuff out of the RV. She's losing parts of the RV. The windshield flies off. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna get away from police today, right? The dog finally decides that this is just too heavy for him and he's trying to get out the front window. She's holding on to him and driving the car with one hand. Oh my God, the pucker factors in this video. There was another near wreck. We're continuing strong though, crushed in roof, dog in the lap and everything. Oh wait, we were wrong this whole time. She doesn't have a dog in her lap. She's got two dogs in her lap. She's driving 70 miles an hour in half an RV with two dogs in her lap. And one of the dogs is trying to get the hell out of that RV. No, 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 no! Pupper, no! It's okay though. Rachel Kim with CBS tweeted out later that both dogs involved in the stolen motorhome pursuit are now safe in the custody of animal control. Their injuries are not life-threatening. I think that dog made the wise choice getting out of the RV when he could. This bitch is crazy, yeet. He done gone and left his boy behind. Look, he doesn't want to be in there either. You know, at this point, I'm wondering why the cops don't just pit it with another RV. I don't know how long this went on before the cameras started rolling, but 14 minutes into the recorded pursuit, and we have our first vehicle-on-vehicle -vehicle collision, I think. I believe. RV runs a red light again, this is like the eighth time, and strikes a black vehicle in its front side. It looks like fortunately it wasn't a direct T-bone into the driver's door, but the RV it looks like it took the whole engine out. She's still going strong, still got a dog in the front seat, and still has half of an RV. Poor dog is still trying to get out of the car away from this crazy person. I just want to stop and point something out that's very crucial to this pursuit right here. You have these million dollar homes. Why is this person's pool in such shitty condition? Then you got this poor guy just wanting to go home after a hard day's work and crazy RV dog lady comes barreling right into him. The pursuit is finally over at exactly 15 minutes into the recording. It's not over yet though. She jumps out and continues running on foot with the dog behind her. I think that's California Highway Patrol right there, but an officer runs up and gives her a little boop against the fence before taking her to the ground.
To make it even worse, this poor guy she just barreled into is writhing around in pain on the ground for like four minutes before anyone even finds him. We really don't deserve dogs. He's bleeding. His owner's a psychopath, but look, he still wants to be with her. I'm very concerned as to why this officer isn't putting a tourniquet around her neck right now. She's very clearly bleeding from her face. Then at around the 20-minute mark, I don't think I've ever seen a news person with a camera run so fast. Dude runs up in shorts and running shoes, hauling ass with a news camera on his back. The dogs are caught. The woman's loaded up into an ambulance. They finally get medical attention to this guy. She'll be taken to the hospital, cleared for injuries, then taken to the jail, where hopefully she stays for the rest of her natural life. Everyone, that's all I have for you today. <sighs> It's going to be hard for anyone to top this pursuit. If you want to see another crazy pursuit that we broke down here on my channel, check out the Grand Theft Auto 5 Bandit. If you want to help support the channel and you have Amazon Prime already, you can go over to twitch.tv slash donut operator and subscribe to me for free at no cost to you. And it gives me a little bit over $2 for everyone that signs up. Everybody, please have a fantastic day.